Hey everyone, this is Kibastic and you are on Kibastic channel. Today I have three incredible puzzles in my hands. They are very beautiful and by the way, a lot of you already know about some of these puzzles. But that doesn't make them less interesting. Today I have in my hands a metal puzzle like this, maybe some of you have already solved it, but I'm sure most of my viewers see it first time. There's even a price tag left here. We will get to this puzzle very soon. I also have a puzzle that I have printed by myself with my 3D printer. And just look at its gorgeous color. The puzzle is called Matte in China, but I call it Matte Patterns, because these patterns will drive you crazy, because this puzzle is quite complex. And of course, today we also have a Ukrainian puzzle, which has the name Trident. We have already solved a similar puzzle, but this one is much more complicated. So let's start with it. So it's time to solve the puzzle called Trident, which is made in Ukraine. Uh, this is not the puzzle Ukraine, which we solved several videos back. The Trident puzzle is much more complicated, and it consists of these elements of different shapes. Hmm, and uh, they are quite of different shape and uh, of different size. And uh, we have to understand where they should be. Well, I can understand that uh, this piece here is uh, the edge of uh, this detail. But this one, look how thick it is, it's much bigger, I don't even know where it is going to go. And this one is much smaller, maybe, maybe they mixed up something, look. It's like these pieces are from different puzzles, but we still have to put together a trident like this, let's try. We have to find uh, this kind of edge. And it might be an element like this on the edge. Let's try this. Something like this may possibly be here. Just guess. Uh, oh no, it can't be. It's much wider than we need. How can it be? This one can't be here, because it's too big. And you can see that it's pretty big for this element here. So I think it could be somewhere in the corner. Well, it's hard enough. Hmm, there's something like that, uh, but I don't even know how it can be. You know what I'm reminded of these details? These pieces separately. This is uh, the famous puzzle T, the letter T, which is actually difficult to solve from these details, but, but we coped with it. Really difficult. And I don't know where to put these little ones. I've been solving this puzzle for about 7 minutes, and I haven't found anything. I'm a little embarrassed. I think we started with the most difficult puzzle, but that's not bad. There are parts that have the same side completely. What is this? How do I solve it? 20 minutes! 20 minutes! I can't do it! I'm already ashamed and I have two more puzzles! Well, I need to gather myself. 100% I'm pretty sure that this cannot be the top, because this is the central part. We need to find other options. I think it's got to be a right angle. See, it's got to be a right angle, a top piece. And I have to find some kind of element that's got to be right angle like uh, this triangle. But it's big. I still have two narrower elements and we have a right angle. And maybe with some right angle we can make this peak. Like this or like this. Oh, here's the top. See it? Right. That's, that's interesting. Hmm, that's funny. And then what? Then we have the same, the same thickness. Guys, this is one of the toughest mini puzzles I've ever done in my life, really. In fact, I could make a separate video about it. You are so lucky to watch this stuff, Jesus Christ. Well, it deserves your likes. Look, here's the shape I have to come to, approximate. That is, it would be like this, but something is wrong with the other pieces. Well, this should be diagonally for sure. It seems to me that uh, this detail, as in the T-puzzle, 
should be placed diagonally, but it's hard to say how. This is really the hardest mini puzzle I've ever done in my life. Very unexpected. Wow! This is how I like it. Look! Well, let's see. So, and <laughs> I wonder where the other element is. How? Where else can I put it? Where else? What else can I do here? Raise this one by replacing the detail with this one? Yep, why not? This way it will look quite tall. How do I put this one up? Like this? But it's mirrored. I mean, we made this trident now. It's wrong, but it's also a trident. And now, what do I need to change? I cannot understand. This one here. And this one here. Turn this one and the last. Bang! Haha! <laughs> we did it! God! I didn't think, I thought we we're starting with a simple puzzle, but the first puzzle in this video is just incredible. You must subscribe to the channel for this, it was really tough. I want to say a lot after such a complex solution of so simple at first glance puzzle. Guys, incredible. Now let's move on to the next one. In fact, I thought there was nothing more complicated than this puzzle, because this puzzle presents itself as a puzzle that can drive you crazy, because these matte patterns are not just called matte. Now I understand we are solving the metal teaser puzzle. Well, guys, uh, this is uh, the second time I'm unpacking this puzzle, because uh, I have already unpacked it uh, together with my wife once. So this is the box, and I understand uh, the task here is to get this hedgehog out. Which, by the way, looks like uh, not only a hedgehog, but also like uh, an underwater mine. It has to be taken out the cage, although I wouldn't take uh, such a creature out of the cage, it looks quite creepy. We need to find a position where uh, this pole can go uh, through the holes. And uh, if uh, we take a closer look at uh, these uh, bars, we are going to find the place, uh, like here, where the space is a little larger than between uh, the other bars. Here, look, I knew this was gonna be a secret like this. If uh, we just look at this ball under a certain angle, it can definitely go into these bars despite these spikes, but uh, on the other side, the ball I think don't fit. But here is quite white, I can see it even like this. I think this puzzle is uh, really not going to be that complicated, it is still the second level of complexity. So I need to somehow adjust uh, the position of the hedgehog in the cage to fit uh, through uh, this hole. I think if I hadn't noticed that there was some more room between the bars, I wouldn't have been dealing with this puzzle for a long time. Like the one before. But look, it's almost out there. We will scroll around. Look, is it really that simple? Huh. No. Yes, we did it! It was really very simple. Incredible. And the real secret is uh, that the bars there are bigger. Maybe a millimeter, maybe two, but there's really more space than here. And if I hadn't noticed that and I was trying to push a hedgehog through these bars, like this one here for example, it wouldn't be able to get through, no matter how hard I tried. Here, look, that's it, the ball just doesn't fit, it's bigger in size. And here, let's try to solve the puzzle in the reversed order, but unfortunately, I can't even get it out of here. I think there's uh, something else uh, going on here that has something to do with the spikes. But it's not really bothering me yet, and we try to solve the puzzle in some other way, just scrolling one spike at a time. Another one, the next spike, and what? And that's it! Almost! Here we go! We turned it back as it was, a cool anti-stress puzzle, quite easy one, but only if you know the secret, and the secret is in the bars. 
and it's interesting enough. And now, here comes the drum roll, and we move on to the next puzzle. Well, this puzzle is the most beautiful of all that I have on my desk today. And by the way, it's also pretty complicated. As I said before, it's called Mad in China, but I call it Mad Patterns, because it's made up of a frame and four of these details that really look like patterns. And if you look at them attentively, they all have different shapes, and not only different, but also very complex, and it is hard to understand how to connect them. And I think we have to try doing it, because uh, the frame is not that big. You have to put all four elements inside the frame. Honestly, I've already solved this puzzle, but I don't remember how it happened. And uh, it's such a puzzle, it's a uh, uh, one that uh, both the first and the second and the third time are hard enough to solve. Look, the pieces can be inside the frame with any side, uh, so uh, they can be like this. Then we turn it two, three, four positions. But that's not all. We can flip it and there's four more. That's eight positions in total. But as uh, for the positions uh, inside the frame, there are a lot of them. So this puzzle is considered to be quite complex. The other thing is, uh, look, Two details can't even fit uh, the width of uh, this frame. The frame is less than two pieces in width. And uh, we have uh, either to sort them out uh, on this frame in the chessboard order, or uh, try to find uh, where they can intertwine. Although uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, find the position in which uh, they can connect, uh, let's say, to the elements uh, on the frame. Because uh, we also have several elements uh, that make the frame not perfect. But like this. And uh, I need to find here... Um... Oh, that's a perfect fit, look! Hmm, and I like that uh, it's in the corner. That means uh, we have uh, more space. Well, uh, let's say we can put another one in a corner, and in order to put at least one of these two in here, I need to find a position, uh, like a position that uh, intersects uh, with an already established pattern and uh, a frame element. Put them together so that one goes into the other as deep as possible. You see, they are intertwining, but they still take a lot of space together. I need to find a way to bind them so that they can penetrate one into the other. And then maybe I can find a place for them in this frame. I think that we need to find the parts uh, that are most similar to each other, so that they will connect with the symmetrical parts of the pattern. I see here a lot of such twisted things, lines, there is something similar to letter F. Perhaps I will find something else similar to the letter F. Oh yes, here it is. F here and here. And if I flip it, it should connect. Yeah, look, it's connecting. But I think we didn't get much better. It's even... Uh, or is it going to fit? Trying. Oh no, that's how it fits. But uh, then there's not enough space for another one. We also have uh, these hooks, and uh, it can hold onto each other. Something like this, or like that. Oh, interesting. This is good. So we take less space here. Now let's find its position here. It would be nice if uh, we could get at least one of these holes to one of these details. Let's try to do this. Or upside down, somehow... Well, it's not bad. I don't know if uh, two more pieces are gonna fit in here. Okay. Honestly, this puzzle doesn't really piss me off yet, but it's yet. Huh, I like what I see, but I'm not sure it's uh, the right thing to do. Let's look for more. Let's try to find another detail uh, that will fit in uh, the corner. I think we can cross uh, these details 
and uh, find a more efficient option. It became so tight in the corner. Hmm, uh, you know, maybe uh, you don't have to put it uh, in the corner. You might want to take a step-by-step -step approach and insert some detail to connect it uh, to the first two. Oh, that's good! And here we have enough space to fit uh, the last one. Let's take a closer look. It looks like the right option. But uh, it's not an easy task to place uh, this item here. Well, we have to use the method of selection. If all the details are correct, we only have to try all 8 options. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, here coincides. Coincides in the center, but we have a problem on the edge. Maybe there are some other options. Because if neither of these options is suitable, it means that the rest of the parts are wrong. Well, I need to swap them. First and second. And then try all the options uh, for this configuration. That's right, good. It seems to me that it's not very easy to solve this puzzle using the method of selection. Although perhaps uh, the first two pieces are also not correct. I want to try some other way. For example, uh, let's uh, put these two pieces like this. What if we put these two pieces together and make them whole part? And then we'll try to find... Oh, that looks good! and find the option when they stand tight enough, and then try to put the frame here. No, there are a few millimeters missing. The frame is definitely not going to fit here. They also need to somehow interweave. We have to find the way to connect them. So, uh, they don't need to be paired, but uh, connected three, four parts together in one. Let's try to find some other ways to merge. Oh, it was an accident, but look, looks pretty good. And what would happen if uh, we try to combine these blocks outside the frame? Maybe I should do it upside down? Or maybe something like that? Oh, it connects. It turns out pretty tight. Now we need to find the position of the frame, as I understand it, uh, and this is already the hardest part. Maybe we should try the other side. Yes, also not bad. From the first time! Ha! I wanted to turn this frame in different directions, but it worked the first time! Amazing! God! I want to be honest, in the end this puzzle was starting to annoy me. I was already getting as mad as uh, these patterns, really. Amazing puzzle! and amazing experience, you can write in the comments which puzzle you liked the most. For me it is of course a trident puzzle. This uh, coat of arms of Ukraine and I'm Ukrainian and I feel proud when I solve this puzzle. Write in the comments which one you liked the most. Thank you all for watching, that was Kivastik, bye everyone and have a good time.